Banana bread is probably the most favorite comfort food of all times. And the good part is, you don't have to be an expert to make this banana bread recipe. In this video, I'm going to showcase my version which comes out perfect each time. And if you have tried banana bread from Starbucks, I can guarantee you that this version is way better than Starbucks' version. But first, let's take a look at the B-roll. To make the banana nut bread, you obviously need bananas. Choosing the right type of bananas can change the outcome of your banana bread. You want to choose bananas that are overripe, as ripe bananas will make our bread moist and add natural sweetness. For this recipe, you need about two large bananas. If you have medium or small sized bananas, use about four. Just a quick note, full recipe is down below in the description. So do check that out. Start by peeling the bananas and then transfer them into a bowl. Next, you want to start mashing your bananas. I'm using a potato masher, but you can get the job done with using a fork. Some people tend to use a food processor or a blender, but I don't think there's any need for that. Mash your bananas until they look like this. Next, you want to crack open two large eggs and add that to your bananas. Adding these eggs will give our bread more flavor and tenderness. If you don't add eggs, then your bread will become dense and tough. Also, you can whisk your eggs in a separate bowl and then add that in. But to keep things simple and not use too many bowls, I decided to use just one bowl and add the eggs. The end result is fine, it comes out just the same. Also, you could use a spatula. I decided to use a whisker because it seems to be doing a better job. Next, you want to add about one third cup or 75 grams of yogurt. I'm using plain yogurt. Then you want to add about half a cup or 110 grams of oil. You can also substitute oil for butter. Some people tend to use that. Then go ahead and mix everything one more time so that the oil and yogurt mixes properly with the banana mixture. Finally, we're going to add the key main ingredient, which gives our banana bread that nice brown color. And that is brown sugar. I added about 3 fourth cups of brown sugar. If you think that's too much, you can always tweak the recipe. You can add more or less. If you did all the steps like I showed you, at this point, your banana mixture slash batter should look like this. Next, add about 1 4 teaspoon or 1 gram of salt. Then for boosting the flavor and taking the banana bread to the next level, add about half a teaspoon or 1 gram of cinnamon. If you like more cinnamon, then add more. I can only handle about that much. Then add about 1 teaspoon or 4 grams of baking soda. Also for added flavor, I added about 1 teaspoon or 4 grams of vanilla extract. Give everything a proper mix so all the flavors get incorporated and move this to the side. Now that we have our base ready, we're going to focus on the main structure which is adding in the flour. Add about 2 cups or 240 grams of all-purpose flour. Doing that in slow motion is optional. Finally, we're going to marry the two up and pour in the banana mixture into the flour and go ahead and mix it up nicely. Just make sure that you don't overmix this because doing that will be really bad for this bread. When you overmix, the gluten in the flour forms an elastic gluten which results in a dense chewy structure. So you don't want to do that. So maybe just turn it like four or five times and you should be good to go. Just to show you, your dough should look like this or behave like this. Should be easily dropping off from your spoon or spatula. Finally, you want to add in your favorite choice of nuts. You could use walnuts, pecan. I'm just using almonds as that's what I had at this time. But feel free to use whatever type of nuts you like. Also, I'm only applying half of my nuts. I'm going to use the other half for garnishing. So the total quantity is 3 fourths cup. Half of that goes in the batter. Half of it goes for garnishing or decorating. Once you have added in the almonds, just remember to mix up the batter very nicely and then go ahead and transfer it into a loaf pan. Dimensions of my pan are 5 inches by 7 inches. Before we bake our bread, you want to tap your pan a couple of times to let any air out because air bubbles will create cracks and then your banana bread won't be Instagram worthy. Finally, you're going to add in your remaining almonds. This step is optional as this is only done for looks, but I highly recommend that you do this step. We are finally ready to bake this bread. You're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, your banana bread should look like this. At this point, it hasn't browned really, it's just baked. It should have risen a little. We're going to bake this again for another 30 minutes, but we're going to cover it so that it does not burn. I used aluminum foil for covering my banana bread. Lightly fold the foil over your pan. Just fold it until bread is no longer visible. Then go ahead and pop it in the oven for another 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. 
A few baking tips. Do not frequently open the door to peek and see if the bread is cooking correctly. Use a toothpick to make sure that the bread has cooked through all the way. Finally, after 30 minutes, my banana bread is ready. And this was really amazing. As you can see, the color came out perfect and the taste and the smell was awesome. I highly recommend that you try and make this bread. Make it the first time and then tweak the recipe according to your taste for the second time. Banana bread is something that you should be able to make at any time and anywhere. It should not require too much effort. In the end, I'm really happy with how this recipe came out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. If you did like this content, give me a thumbs up by hitting that like button. Also, consider subscribing if you like my content and would like to get a weekly update. I usually upload new videos every Thursday. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Enjoy this b-roll.